Hello, my name is Emily rothbaum Perito. I'm a fellow in the Division of Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology, and Nutrition at the University of California, San Francisco. On behalf of Dr. Roberts, Dr. Rosenthal, and myself, we appreciate the opportunity from DDW and AASLD to present our analysis of overweight and obesity in pediatric liver transplant patients. This project was motivated by the fact that among adult liver transplant recipients, there has been widely reported in the literature an epidemic of post-transplant obesity and metabolic syndrome. And among healthy U.S. children and adolescents, we know that the prevalence of obesity has been increasing over the past 30 to 40 years. However, little is known about this among pediatric liver transplant recipients. And now that their five-year survival exceeds 90%, attention to long-term outcomes like obesity is very important. The specific aims of our project were to describe the prevalence and persistence of overweight and obesity in pediatric liver transplant patients before and after transplant, and to delineate risk factors for overweight and obesity in this population. We performed a retrospective analysis using the UNOSTAR database, which includes information on all liver transplants performed in the United States between 1987 and 2010. We included patients who were six months to 20 years of age of transplant during the study period. We excluded patients who had undergone previous liver transplant, were undergoing multivisceral transplant, or had missing or biologically implausible values of weight or height data that was needed to calculate BMI percentile and weight for height percentile. In the follow-up data, we excluded data that was collected after patients were retransplanted. We categorized state, uh, patients by weight status according to American Academy of Pediatrics guidelines. For children 6 to 24 months of age at transplant, we categorize them as underweight, normal weight, or overweight at transplant. For those 2 to 20 years at transplant, we categorize them as underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese. We found that weight st uh, status at transplant has not changed substantially over the past three decades. For those 6 to 24 months of age at transplant, approximately 10 to 15 percent were overweight at transplant. For those 2 to 20 years at transplant, approximately 25 to 30 percent were overweight or obese at transplant. This consistency across decades held when we uh, categorized children into five-year intervals or by diagnostic categories. We next examined which demographic factors were important predictors of being overweight or obese before transplant. We found that among children 6 to 24 months of age, being older in, within this age group or being transplanted for cholestatic liver disease, acute liver failure, or metabolic liver disease were associated with increased risk of being overweight at transplant. Among children 2 to 20 years of transplant, the strongest predictor of being overweight or obese at transplant was being 2 to 6 years old, compared to those older than 6 years. For the 2 to 6 year olds, uh, race, ethnicity, and diagnosis were not associated with being overweight or obese at transplant. For the children more than 6 years of age at transplant, being female, African American, or transplanted for acute liver failure was associated with increased risk of being overweight or obese before transplant. We then examined how weight status before transplant affects weight status after transplant. In the children 6 to 24 months of transplant, we found that those who were overweight or obese at transplant had a higher risk of being overweight or obese after transplant compared to those who were under a normal weight at transplant. This held at 1 to 2 years and 4 to 6 years after transplant, but the difference between groups resolved by 8 to 10 years. Among the children 2 to 20 years at transplant, we found that those who were overweight or obese at transplant were significantly more likely to be overweight or obese at 1 to 2 years, 4 to 6 years, and 8 to 10 years after transplant compared to those who were under a normal weight at transplant. Of note, even among those who were under a normal weight at transplant, approximately one-third of younger children and one-fourth of older children were overweight or obese in long-term follow-up. In conclusion, the prevalence and patterns of overweight and obesity has been relatively stable among pediatric liver transplant patients over the past 30 to 40 years. Even in long-term follow-up out to 8 to 10 years after transplant, approximately one quarter of children become overweight or obese. In terms of future research, we feel that attention to long-term outcomes like obesity and its complications are very important in this population. Additional longitudinal research would be very helpful to delineate risk factors for overweight and obesity before and after a liver transplant, to assess outcomes associated with obesity, and to develop management strategies that optimize children's long-term growth potential without encouraging over, uh, excess overweight and obesity in this population. Thank you.